Hey Liam Ward here at LearnTheHarmonica.com. Here is how to play the blues scale. So the tab is two draw, three draw semitone bend, half set bend, four blow, four draw bend, four draw, five draw, and then six blow. I'm using a C diatonic harmonica, but you can use any key you like. Technically, this is the minor pentatonic with a flat five added, and it sounds really cool and bluesy. And for that reason, it's one of the most common things you'll hear by blues harmonica players, also blues guitarists and other instruments in the context of the blues. But here's the thing. Ask yourself why you want to learn the blues scale. If you want to expand your range of scales so that you can expand your playing, then go ahead. But if you're thinking, I want to play the blues, I should know the blues scale, then just pause for a minute. And this is really important because I highly recommend that you only learn the blues scale once you've learned the chord tones of the one, four, and five chords of a standard 12-bar blues. These are the chord tones that I taught you in last week's lesson, and I'll put a link beneath this video to watch that lesson as well. If you are ready to master the blues scale, you've got the chord tones and you want to really get inside the juices of, of what the blues scale can do, then I have a premium lesson in which I teach you some practice exercises to run through the blues scale and get it up to speed and start using it in your soloing. And I'll put a link beneath this video to that premium lesson as well. Okay, so why do I suggest you learn the chord tones first? What I've learned the hard way is that music's about suitability, not about ability. Let me tell you a little story. When I first started playing harmonica, I went and learned the blues scale, and what I found was I was then putting that blues scale in on everything I wanted to play. So if I was playing a pop tune or a folk tune or anything like that, I'd always flatten that three draw. I'd hit the three draw semitone bend because it was a gorgeous blue third, you know, really kind of gutsy sort of, note. And um, I did a few recordings before before I should have really, um, for various reasons and playing with other people and all that kind of thing. I heard some of them back recently and there are songs where I'm playing over, the whole song is in major chords. It's in a major key, major chords. And I was putting in all these blues notes that really didn't fit. And it was all down to this Thing of, of kind of thinking, well, I'm a blues player, I need to play the blues scale. So if you're always thinking in that to, in, in those sets of notes, then yes, you've got some ability, but it's not always going to be suitable. Those notes aren't always going to fit. And that's true even within the blues itself. You can't always rely on those sets of notes, even if you are playing blues. So you really need to change your kind of way of thinking. It's great to get bluesy notes, but you have to play, play the right notes at the right time. I recommend that you think of the blues scale as a corruption or a variation from the chord tones. And what this will do is it will change the whole way you visualize the music and the framework around which you build your solos, which will help you kind of paint the songs with a full palette of colors which in turn will make you sound a lot better. <laughs> it, it can't be stressed how important it is to have a huge variety of different things to draw on in your playing. With all of that said, assuming you're comfortable with the chord tones and can play those through a 12 bar blues, I really hope that you find the blues scale itself useful. It is actually a really, really cool thing and um, I hope you learn it for the right reasons. And if you do want to learn more about the blues scale and how to put it into solos, check out my premium lesson on a series of exercises for the blues scale. I put the link beneath this video. Do give me your comments and your questions. I'd love to hear your opinions on the blues scale versus chord tones versus other scales. Um, I'd love to hear your stories as well. I've shared one of mine and uh, I'll try and join in and respond to as many as possible. Until I see you again, enjoy your practice. I'll see you soon. Cheers.